All right, so my heads up display, I wanna go over some of the things that you can actually see on this. Right now, by default, when the heads up display is on, I have my speedometer up there. It's just zero kilometers an hour because I'm not moving. Once I start to move, some other things are gonna happen here. As I pass by a speed limit sign, which we'll see in a few minutes, it's gonna post that directly below my speedometer. Also, I'm gonna turn my cruise control on and I can see a few things show up there. So I've got a picture of a road, I've got one bar up on the road, and then down below, I've got a picture of a car and a dial and three dashes. That's where it's gonna set my speed limit. I've got the same thing on my driver assist display, but this puts it right up where I can see it while I'm driving. I'm gonna change my driver assist display down below, and we'll see why in a moment. I also have my navigation set, and once I start to drive, that's going to post up on the left side of the screen over there to the left of the road where it's going to show me an arrow for what direction we should go and it's going to count down my distance. So let's start moving so that we can see some of what's going to pop up here. I can see right away my speedometer is moving. And like I said, as we pass by a speed limit sign here, once this truck goes by, it will post that up on there. And then we'll also see some other stuff as the cruise and Pro Pilot Assist engages and we get a vehicle in front of us for the adaptive cruise. Lots more information is going to show up on that screen. It's extremely helpful. Turn right after one kilometer. So now I can see some of it starting to show up where I've got directions for my navigation system. So lots of information there. We should be passing a speed limit sign just ahead where it's gonna say 50 kilometers an hour. And we'll see that posted directly below my speedometer as we go by. And there that is now. So we're starting to get more and more information appearing here, making it really easy to tell what's going on. Yeah, the next thing that's gonna happen is very soon the navigation system is gonna to talk to us and give us a little more info just because we're getting close to where we need to be for our turn. Now I'm not going to set the cruise control just yet because we're less than 400 meters from our turn. And therefore it would be turned back off immediately. Once we get onto the next road, I will set it so that you can see a little more information again. Turn right after 200 meters. We've got our turn just ahead here. As we go around the bend. Turn next right, then prepare for a U-turn. So we're gonna move up ahead here because this is telling us we need to go the other direction. Navigation's not perfect, but it will usually get you where you need to go in when the possible, shortest possible make a time. -turn. We're going to take advantage of this spot right here to make our turn. And around we go. Keep right after one kilometer. temporarily set the cruise but we've got to set the lights just up ahead we'll set the cruise as soon as we get back on the highway here just so that we can see everything's going to start to turn green for us and the pro pilot will kick in all right so we're back up on the highway and we're going to get our cruise control set here we just heard the pro pilot kick in i can see everything up on the screen there is lit up green I can see I have another vehicle ahead of me that is within range of the radar because it's got a picture of a white car ahead. Also on the left side I can see I've got 2.5 kilometers to my next turn. My speed is 95 kilometers an hour. My cruise set at the bottom is 95 kilometers an hour. I'm slowing down because we're now within range for the adaptive cruise and I can see that the speed limit is 80 kilometers an hour. So lots of information up here. The Pro Pilot works remarkably well. Take the fourth well. exit on the right onto NS207. So again, we just had some more information show up on the screen there because we're starting to get closer to a turn. And what 
we're going to see up ahead is depending on the speed that we're at this will actually slow down all on its own to go around the turn although it doesn't look like we're going to get to experience that because the truck ahead of us is doing that for us this is where the adaptive cruise is so nice and the pro pilot works seamlessly with it so around the turn we go and the vehicle is the one doing the turning here makes it really easy to navigate through everything here. Stand below here on my home screen. I am on the home screen and I've got a little bit of navigation information here. Over here I can see I've got my speedometer and my pro pilot is all lit up green. I'm about to signal so that's going to turn that off. I see some of it. Make a U-turn after 600 meters. Is no longer green. It wants me to make a U-turn. We're actually going to take the next exit up here, which is really easy to do. When possible, make a U-turn. Then oh. take the first exit on the right. But what I do want to show you is if I go over to the navigation screen, I have my car there, but if I scroll down one screen because my navigation is set, I'm actually going to get a full-blown version of the map. So my map from over here on the main screen now displays down here so Take that I can see on the right I can see exactly what's going on on top of the information up on the heads-up display 